Okay, today is April 19th, 2020. I'm in the underground greenhouse last night. You can see right here behind me, I installed the weed-free garden bed. Uh, unfortunately, I left a huge mess. You can see all the rocks and dirt and crap behind me. So I need to get that cleaned up. That's kind of gonna be my next project in here. So um, I'm excited to show you this uh, once I get everything cleaned up. If you wanna see the full video of me making this, you'll need to watch the last video I did because in that video, I show you a time lapse and everything else while I'm uh, putting this together. Okay, so Sundays are normally more of a chill day for me. I like to relax a little bit more. I don't like to do like the heavy labor type stuff here in the greenhouse. So uh, per the norm, I usually on Sundays come in and divide up these plants. So you can see here, for instance, you got two seeds growing into one container. So I'll remove one of these into a new container so they can grow on their own separately. And that's kind of what I've been doing for like the last hour, probably have about 30 minutes left of doing that. Um, and then what I'll do at the end here is I'll flip the camera around and kind of show you how the seeds have been doing so far since we planted them about a month ago. Okay, today is April 20th and uh, I've got a couple different projects going on today. I need to add more soil to my new weed-free garden bed. And so I'll be bringing in some more mulch to fill that up. And then I need to clean up this whole mess. Um, I have a bunch of sand and everything from digging the hole. So I need to get that out of here and clean up the greenhouse again because it is a huge mess. Today, I'll be working fast and furious to try to get everything done as quick as possible. Okay, so just like I do on all of my weed-free garden beds, I have little blocks of two by fours that are buried to the bottom of these. And the purpose is, is you can really water these heavily only once or twice a week. And the water will actually soak into these boards. These little boards will soak up the moisture and then the roots of the plants will actually touch the wood and it will wick the moisture from these wood, so from these wood pieces. So anyways, we just take it, stick it in the soil like this and bury it. And uh, anyways, uh, now I just need to get a bunch more soil to put in here and we will be good to go. Okay, so as you can see behind me, the weed-free garden bed is done. So now I just need to add some plants and a way to get water and uh, we're good to go. So as you know, I've already got a bunch of plants potted. I just need to decide what is gonna go where and if I wanna do drip lines or more like a sprinkler type system. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Okay, so you can see here, I've already removed a bunch of the dirt and all of the rocks that were right here, but I still have a crap load of sand to move. So now my next job is to get all this sand out of here. And you can see this water barrel right here. I've moved one of them underneath here. You can see that. So my next goal is to try to get this one and the one behind me up underneath there as well. So, okay, that was actually back breaking work, but you can see our plant shelf right here. And underneath here, I've put these three barrels here. So that's just three more things that are out of the way. And the purpose of all these water barrels that you see here around the greenhouse is to help keep the consistency of the temperature in the greenhouse. Okay, today is April 21st. You can see I'm out here in the rhubarb garden and I am playing in cow poop. So what you do here, obviously you wanna wear a glove. You can see I've already started. And reach in and grab a nice handful of crap. It's not straight crap, but anyways, uh, it's an organic topsoil with cow manure in it. And what you do is I've, you can see if you look down here, I've already dug the dirt out from around these rhubarb plants and you just take this cow manure and just shove it up underneath the plant and that will give it a good boost and we should get an awesome harvest of rhubarb this year. Okay, so 
I'm still out here at the rhubarb, and now we're taking this turkey mulch. After you put in the stair manure, you have a bunch of this turkey mulch, and you just stick it up here underneath as well, mix it in there. So anyways, long day out in the rhubarb patch. And here's the rhubarb garden, all ready for the growing season. Okay, so now I'm in the strawberry bed doing the same thing. I've already put the compost around the strawberries. Now I have some mulch and I'm just taking the mulch and spreading it around. Good morning, everybody. It is April 22nd. And this morning I've got the trailer hooked up to the truck and I'm headed to get a whole load of mulch for the garden bed. So when you have five garden beds, uh, including the underground greenhouse, going to Home Depot and buying bags of mulch is just too expensive. And really it's almost just a waste because you'd have to buy so many bags. So it really makes sense to just get a big old trailer load. And so I'm just gonna get one load of mulch because I just got two loads a couple of weeks ago, but I've gone through all of that, including I used an entire load in the underground greenhouse in the new weed-free garden bed that I just did. So anyways, that's where I'm headed this morning. Okay, so today we're in the underground greenhouse and we are gonna install this drip line hose or tubing. Uh, we'll hook it up to the timer here. So we can, once we plant everything here, it'll just water automatically. You've got this piece right here. And what you do is, uh, I'll show you here in a minute, but I screw this into the timer or like a hose bib and then plug it into the tubing and then I'll run the tubing through here. And then I'll attach these little sprinkler heads you can see here. And uh, that way I'll just spray out and water a bunch of the plants at the same time. Okay, so first thing first, you can see we've got our timer here. This hose already runs down to water the trees and stuff. So this will be for this weed-free garden bed that I just built. It's pretty simple. All you do is screw this piece into here. Like that. Get it nice and tight. And then we're gonna grab the hose here and we just push this hose up onto here like this and dump that, don't need that. So you can just wiggle it back and forth like this. And that's good to go. Okay, so I brought a big rock along, more like a bowling ball to help me out. And I think we'll set it about right here. And you grab this hose here. And we want this to run right down the middle, but we need to come this way a little bit because we'll have some plants over here. So we're gonna bring it down like this and then use the bowling ball to hold it in place. Okay, so as you can see here, we've run the hose all the way down the garden bed. So then we're just gonna grab some scissors and cut the tubing, get this out of the way. And then now, if I turn on the water, we're just gonna squirt out here like this. So we just bend it like this and take a piece of tubing like this, like some PVC pipe that I've just cut. And I'm just gonna stick it on like this and that will keep the water from getting out. Okay, so then you have this black tubing here. I've already cut off a little piece here. And what you do is you insert this piece here like that. There's a little piece here. It's kind of like a little connector or adapter piece. And you just poke it right in through this plastic. You can buy a special tool that'll poke the hole there, but I just found you can just push it in and it pops through. So that piece is done. Then I hook my little spray nozzle you see here into this. And we're gonna place it right here because I'll put one plant here and probably put another plant here. So we have a couple plants running down each side. So this little spray head will hopefully hit both sides now. Well, that's it for this episode of Apocalyptic Gardening. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to follow the progress of my underground garden, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.